that's what I'm talking about. Welcome to the Show Up Podcast. My name is Calvin Noel, and my whole life I've been working to show up. Show up. You have great potential. Show up for my friendships, show up for my family, show up for my health, and show up for my future. Showing up means looking at what's happening in life and navigating through what I can do to make it better. Keep your focus. Make it better. Make it more meaningful and make a difference, not only for me, but for everyone around me. The people who really care for you are rooting for your rise. I'm still a work in progress. All I gotta do is show up, show up. But I'm gonna get there. Break and try again this time. This podcast offers advice from experts who know how to take the next step to help you reach your full potential. Thanks for hanging out with me. Now let's show up. What's up, everyone? It's Calvin Noel. Welcome to the Show Up Podcast. I am so excited that you tuned in for this episode. Today's episode is really important to me. First of all, it came about from a local advertising agency, which is actually the sponsor for this episode. They're Anthem Republic. And Anthem Republic is, they've been friends of mine for many years, but they really inspired me because their whole thing is about connecting brands and people. And so as a result of their influence, I decided to be able to go and do this episode, my first video podcast with um, Darius Williams. Darius is a cook in Atlanta, Georgia. He is a world-renowned chef. He owns one of the top restaurants in Atlanta, and he is really changing the game online. I mean, he's doing well. He's making a lot of money and he's cooking and he left a corporate job to do cooking and you're going to be so amazed with this episode. We are actually cooking, me and my co-host Joy Tribble. So this episode is great and I just wanna thank Anthem Republic because without Anthem Republic's influence and uh, push to do stuff like this, this episode wouldn't even be possible. So once again, without further ado, here is my episode with Darius Williams. I am here today in Atlanta, Georgia, doing a special episode with my co-host, Joy Tribble. Hey and also, I have a special guest here today. It is, we are like super, super excited. He is a social media phenomenon. Yes. He has, if you follow him on Instagram, you can see all of his recipes. He's amazing. We've been following him for years. He's hilarious. He owns a restaurant here in Atlanta called Greens and Gravy. Yes. He also has a cookbook that you can buy online, and he's a credit counselor. He does all kinds right. of things. We're going we're gonna to show up. <laughs> we're going to show up, and we're going to find out. But would you please help me welcome Mr. Darius Williams. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Yes, yes. So we are here today. And first of all, before we even get into what we want to ask Darius questions, you can't start a show without having a chef to That's help right. you. Oh gosh. To help you know how to do this. Because we've been watching online. Now I'm trying to be healthy. Let's just keep it real, y'all. I'm trying to work on myself. So I can't make his Tim Mac and cheese today. Oh, right. But <laughs> what I can do is learn how to make this salmon, because I'm gonna have to start eating a little bit more salmon. So I'm gonna do something with the salmon and then what else are we Yeah, making? we've got some garlic mashed potatoes straight from his recipe. Um, and so we're excited about those. So we've pre-prepped a couple of things to kind of get everything going. Um, and we're going to allow the mastua himself oh to escort us through this process of making his famed honey glaze. Let me sure I get it right. Honey sweet tea glaze sandwich. That's it. <laughs> and the garlic mashed potatoes. So my mouth is watering already. <laughs> And so we're going to let the man uh, take us through. Okay. So I think the first thing we should probably do is get the glaze on, okay. right? So the glaze is literally sweet tea, right? But it's sweet tea that's been, as my grandmother would say, gussied up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then it's reduced down to like this sort of sweet, sticky glaze. Because uh -huh. sweet, sticky goes great with salmon. Okay. So a couple of tea bags okay. in. Just two, into the pot. And right into a pot. Just straight into the pot. Because what you're making is okay. you're making tea. Straight you're making sweet tea, okay. right? And then what you want to do is just sort of let that steep a little mm -hmm. bit. That won't take long because this pot of water was already boiling, Correct. right? Yes. Good to go. Now, if you're going to do this, you have to use real sweet tea. Okay. okay? You mm -hmm. cannot use um, like a... A pre-made, pre It won't work. Okay. It won't work. 
So uh, let that do its thing, okay. and then you'll be fine. Now, for the fish, yes. what we want to do is we're going to start this. It's cast iron, yes. and oh. it's been preheating. It's on like a medium heat, right? This is hot, so I don't want to touch it. I don't burn myself. And the oven is already on. Okay, oven's on. This is already preheated, okay? Medium mm -hmm. heat. Now, to season the salmon, you just want to get a, a paper towel. Okay first and just pat it dry because okay. you want to sear this off and really really good okay. so you can come around this way yeah pat that dry and then you're going to do salt and pepper okay, on it but what we're going to do and you're going to flip it over okay you got to get in there and get it now yeah, okay. It. okay 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 <laughs> okay there you go <laughs> there you go okay so uh once you pat it dry there's a little bit of kosher salt and black pepper. Mm -hmm. Something in here? Yeah. yeah. All right, so just a sprinkle. Just on the back. On the back. Okay. Kind of like how you do. You that's know? it. That's just a it. Sprinkle. Yes. That's Come it. On. Come okay. On. Okay, <laughs> salt. Yes. It's a little, that's a lot of salt. Okay, okay. a little salt. <laughs> little pepper. Is that the <laughs> salt? No, 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 you're good. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. You're good. Okay. We just... okay. Let's see what the pepper going to do. That's okay. it. Uh oh, let's see. Come on, pepper. Okay, maybe we have, we have another one. We got two. They are. I'll be cooking at the house. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. But you know. No, that's good. Okay. And then a little granulated garlic. Okay. Granulated garlic. okay. All right. Okay. Now you want to flip that over, uh -huh. right? Because yeah. you're going to do the other side. Because you got to eat both sides. That's right. That's right. So you want both sides to have flavor and both sides to be seasoned. Always keep one hand clean just in case the phone rings and you got to pick it up. Well, yeah, that too. Okay. 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 Same thing. Yep. A little less on this side. Right? There you go. <laughs> we don't want no that's it. We don't want five no so, so, and that's the, I, so, so just salt, pepper, and garlic powder. That's it. Right? That's all mm -hmm. you need okay. just for a little Let bit me of. Let try that other pepper. See there you go. Some in there? A little bit? Okay. Oh, a little bit. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. Bit. Yeah, and then a little bit of the garlic powder. Okay. All right. And that's that's pretty much it. Now, this could have been done the day before. This could oh, be okay, sitting. This could be America. Yeah, this doesn't have to be a thing you do right away. Okay. okay so I'm that, sure this is enough seasoning I'm, here. I promise you it's enough because you have the glaze. Okay. Yes. So we're just doing okay. layers of flavor. You don't want to overpower it because okay. you want this to go with the glaze. Perfect. Okay. Now, for this, mm -hmm. you want to put the oil into a hot pan. People make the mistake sometimes, and they'll have the pan is cold. It's not hot. It's not ready to go. Let me, let me, let me help you out. Let me, see, let me see what I can do with this. There you go. So a couple of rounds of the olive oil. No, a little bit more. Okay, there you go. Cool. Now you see it starts to sort of waft already. So that's good. That's what you want, right? Now this is hot, but you want to kind of swirl it around. Make sure we get it all over. You don't have to step back. It's okay. Okay. I got it. Okay. So we're gonna start skin side down. Skin side down. Boom. Oh, Lord. My God. And, put, and push it away from you. That way it won't splatter. Yeah. That's right. That's right. There you go. Now, we may not be able to get all five in the pan. Oh, we're going to get all five in here. Yeah. Okay. 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 And then one in the middle. Looks good. Okay. So let's finish up with okay. the glaze. So there you go. So now we've had a chance to steep the tea. So you can just remove the tea bags. Okay. Right, and then we're gonna cut this all the way up to like super high, because we're gonna make it a, a glaze. Mm -hmm. All right, so then brown sugar mm -hmm. goes awesome. in here. Because awesome. salmon and brown sugar go together just Did really well. Just, just listen to me, I, I wrote the recipe. Yeah. I wrote the recipe. <laughs> okay, how much? I'll tell you when, oh, just go ahead. Go ahead. That's what okay. we're doing. A little more. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, and you really can't put too much. I mean, it's that simple. I'm gonna That's cut this good. down because I don't want to. I don't want to burn this. Yeah. Okay. So then you gotta use uh, some fresh squeezed lemon juice. Mm -hmm. So you got a lemon over there because sweet tea, sugar, mm -hmm. lemon, all that stuff. All that. So and, I've and, seen you do this before, Darius. Yeah, you know what you're doing what with that. Doing? Am you're, I juicing the lemon? You, yeah, you're 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 helping it to juice a little bit easier. <laughs> And sometimes, you know, the, the lemon can be really tight. That's fine. You can just stick it in the microwave for oh, like 15 seconds. Trick. Yeah. Now you have a fork. I do have a fork. Okay, grab a fork because we're going to fork. Right, right here. We're going to fork this lemon. So essentially, put this over there and then take the fork and run the fork all the way around it. Uh -huh. Put it in the middle. Put the fork oh, in the middle. Yeah. There you go. And then squeeze and turn. Squeeze, squeeze and turn. There you, there you go. Oh, there you go. Come on. There you go. That's how you're going to get the most juice out. 
So turn the fork one way and then turn the lemon the other way. Oh, got it. There you go. I should have done that. Okay. And you see how you get all the juice? So just go ahead and give it a good squeeze. That's it. Okay. But let me mm. see if I can help you. Let me do the other one. Yeah. Help me. Let me see. So okay. if you do it like this, and just come in here and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, wow. You should be able to get all of the juice and you get more. Let me see that. I'll throw yeah, that away. Yeah. You don't want squeeze to and turn, y'all. Squeeze and turn. Squeeze one way, turn the opposite. So that goes okay. there. Let's see how much juice you left I left in. in there. Don't you talk just about me. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> look at how much, look at how many tablespoons you left in here. <laughs> yeah. There we go. But that's okay, good. good. So okay, good. Okay. So that's it. And then we need to put some honey in there. Mm, we got some honey. Because sweet tea, honey, all that stuff goes good together. So just listen to you. That's it. Wow. This is so exciting. All right. And then you need a pinch of salt just to help pinch. bring, yeah, to bring, honey? yeah, that's good. Okay. To bring the flavors out. Just a pinch? Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, a pinch more. There you go. There you okay, go. cool. And you just because let that. Salt. Why do we do salt? Because the salt helps bring out all the other flavors, okay. right? You ever taste, um, like, the difference between dirty dishwater and good <laughs> chicken soup. No, no, for real. The difference between dirty dishwater okay. and great chicken soup is a pinch of salt. Oh, wow. And so it oh. brings out all the other flavors of what you're cooking with, all right? Look at that. So you just cut stir. this up. Should we stir? Yeah, just stir to combine. Okay. Cut that up on high and let it reduce down until it's sticky. The oven's already at 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. So the fish is gonna go in the oven and then the glaze, you'll just sort of spoon over and let it go, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. But Darius, how many calories is this, you think? So cut this off. No, let that go on high. You want that as high as possible. How many calories? It depends on yeah. how much you eat. Now, how bad could this be? So it's fish yep. and a low glaze. Low you see glaze. what I'm saying? Just a little bit. So this is good for you. Trainers, okay. trainers will approve of this. Yes, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. So Darius, we got to ask you okay. your journey. So tell us from the beginning, like, how you got into cooking and how you got to where you are today. So it was a very cold day in December, 1980. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> how did I start? You know what? I think for me, food was just a part of mm -hmm. the experience growing up, right? I mean, holidays, Sundays mm -hmm. after church, we just had mm -hmm. food was just everywhere. Yeah. And I liked how it tasted, but I also liked sort of the byproduct, right? Which mm -hmm. is family getting together, yeah. friends. It's always a good time, yeah. right? Yeah. I've never seen anybody have a bad time with a, a bucket of fried chicken that's in true. front of you, right? It's always a good time, right? Right, right, right. You can't right. argue with there's that's a pan no. of macaroni and cheese. No. I'll eat this first, and then after, then we can argue. Yeah. Right. So I think for me, that's kind of always been um, what I've liked about food, how it brings folks together. Mm -hmm. And I remember, like, the earliest times I cooked, maybe nine or ten years old, mm -hmm. right? Oh, Just really? helping, yeah, helping out in the kitchen. Uh, I remember one time I made uh, fried turkey wings. I thought they were fried. I thought it was chicken. Okay. And my grandmother, she came home and was like, I said, I fried chicken. She's like, we don't have any chicken. What'd you fry? And I was like, so, so I kind of think I started the whole fried, started turkey. fried turkey. Yeah, before okay. it became before a thing. Yeah, so I, that's kind of how I started, just years yeah. ago. And then, you know, in my 20s, I kind of got, you know, a little serious about it. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, here I am building an empire around just my love for food. But let's backtrack. Yeah. Sure. You didn't start off cooking. I mean, it was a part of your life, but like vocationally, you did something else. Yeah, so I, well, yeah, so for 14 years, I worked full time in um, HR. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so okay. I, I worked for, for large companies, managing payroll, managing benefits, okay. managing HRIS okay. systems. So you were working a job. Yeah, so I was working a job. So yeah. why were you doing the job, though? Because most people are working a job, but they have a dream. Right. right. So how right. did you allow yourself yeah. and give yourself permission to make the switch? Yeah, well, you know what it was? I never stopped working on what I was passionate about, mm. right? So, so many times what happens is that people don't get a job, the job pays well, right. you yep. get that great annual bonus, yep. you think you're set. For me, that was part of it, but it wasn't the full experience. Yeah. I kind of felt like um, there was just more to it, more to the story. So. I, I just kept, like, at nighttime, I would just go blog. I would go mm -hmm. create recipes. I would go test mm -hmm. new ingredients. Um, I did it for years, right? Mm -hmm. And then eventually, once you start getting a repertoire of, of you know, information and tips and things, now, you've, right. now you're almost becoming an expert, and I start putting that on display, and that's sort of how it happens. So just one day at work or at home, you said, I'm resigning on Friday. I'm resigning next month. Like, what was that click? Okay, no, that wasn't really it. Okay. So, okay. No, no. so that <laughs> wasn't. We want the real. Yeah, it wasn't. Have... It wasn't quite like that. Okay. So, um, so while I was still working full time, I was also blogging as well. Okay. So I was a full a full time food blogger and a full time okay. employee in corporate America. Okay. 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 I had amassed 
a number of followers mm -hmm. at this point, you know. Okay, uh, like what was it by then? Uh, probably uh, Instagram was maybe 40,000 wow. people. Okay, no, was that just from the cooking? Was that before the comedic? That was Prayer. that was sort of in the crux of all of it. It was like the beginning of it. So okay. I had started going viral with prayers yeah. and that kind of thing. <laughs> but again, I'm still yeah, working. No. A, I'm still working a full time job. Okay. Don't get me wrong. So I'm still working mm -hmm. a full time job. But videos are starting to go viral. Okay. People are starting to see, hey, he's funny, mm -hmm. but right. he also can cook. Right. And that recipe looks really good. Mm -hmm. Right. So I had amassed a number of followers. And so one day I did wake up and I just said to myself. There's no reason I have all these followers and I'm still going to work every right. day. Like you just don't, it doesn't make yeah. sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like how do I have all these people tuning in to what I'm doing, but I'm yeah. still getting up and going to work. So that didn't make sense to me. So I said, I got to figure out how to monetize this. Like mm -hmm. I got to figure out okay. what to do to make this possible. So I went online one day on Facebook uh -huh. and I was like, yo, <laughs> if I throw a dinner party, would you come? Yeah. 1400 comments. Yes, 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 yes. And so this was before they knew that you were this great, amazing cook. It was the comedic element that drew people into you. Kinda, it okay. kinda, kinda. Yeah. So I had 75% because they knew who I was okay. already, 25% now right. are finding out who, I, who I am. Okay. So it's a combination of both, right? Okay. So people, but mo majority of folks are like, okay, we know we, know we can cook, right? So, uh, so that's sort of how it, how it happened. So I said, okay, well, this means something. Mm -hmm. Now let me see what I can do. So I found a company called Eventbrite, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I, I put tickets online. And I said, okay, I'll do 25 seats. I don't know how this is supposed to happen. I don't know where it's gonna be. I don't know what I don't know what to do. I picked the date. Okay. Out of the clear blue sky. It was uh, March 7th, 2015. March 7th? March 7th. Mm -hmm. My mother's birthday. March 7th, wow. 2015. <laughs> uh, so I did this in like January. No, maybe beginning of February. And those tickets sold out in five minutes. Wow. So they were $125. Mm -hmm. It was a seven course dinner party um, in New York City somewhere. So that's, that's where you were. That's where I was came, living. Uh, so I was living in okay. New York. Okay. Uh, and I said, okay, I'll do it. And I made 2,500 bucks in five minutes, right? Shut so up. I was like, wow, this is interesting, wow. right? Oh, what so is was this that sort of a litmus test a bit too? Yeah, I don't even, I, the thing is, I don't even think it was a litmus test because in order for it to be a test, you have to know that it's it, gonna it could happen. Gotcha. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Right. This was just a, okay, let's try something and let's see what happens. And it was before you had all of the details figured out. Oh, I had nothing figured out. My friend Shatira and I, I was like, I'm thinking about a dinner party. Let's go to Ikea, see how much plates cost. You know, like just, just like that. I had nothing figured out. Nothing figured out. You just did it. I just did it. I had nothing figured right. out. Um, now I got some details together once I realized what it yeah. was. So, but people got upset online. They were like, okay, well, we didn't know about it. Nobody told us. I didn't see it. I was at work or whatever. So they were like, you have to add another, da another date. And I'm like, how am I going to add a second date? So I said, right. okay, forget it. I'll, I'll add March 28th. So within two weeks? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I put tickets on sale for March 28th. Uh, two minutes sold out. Wow. Two minutes. So in seven minutes, I had made $5,000. No. okay. So wait a minute. I know. Minutes. It, it's, it, it makes sense to me that when you have a following, you get that kind of response. Yeah. But what, to even get 40,000, because we're chilling around with 2,000 followers. Yeah, yeah. So to, to, <laughs> e <laughs> to <laughs> even get, wait a minute, yeah. to even get 40,000, yeah. you're doing something yeah. vlogging wise that's, you know, I know it's food and people like food, yeah. but was it just, you know what, I did a recipe a day or? or no, what so what it was, was it was consistent content, right? Oh. So uh, content. the thing about growing a brand, and I don't want to get too deep about it, but growing a brand, you, you got to do two things. One, you have to add value to people's lives. Mm -hmm. Two, you have to solve problems. Nice. So if you're going to do anything like become a food blogger, right. right? How are you adding value to folks? And then how are you also solving their got problems? It. So I figured I couldn't just do regular recipes that people get anywhere else. It had to be, yeah, so it had to be inventive. It had to be different. So in my mind, I started coming up with all these things that were new and different, mm -hmm. and that's what got people. It's like, yeah. oh, I haven't seen that before, right? But right. I kept using familiar ingredients. Yeah. So you know red velvet, you know a Twinkie, but you don't know a red velvet Twinkie. Ah. You oh. see what I'm saying? You know chicken, you know biscuits, you know gravy, but you don't know chicken and biscuits on a stick. Right? right? Yeah. You see what I mean? So, okay. so it's inventive. Yeah, so it's, so it's all creative. these things that people are like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, right? You know banana pudding, you know a martini, but you don't know banana pudding teeny. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That way you have one hand free to eat with, or whatever the case may be. Right, right, right. So I started doing all these inventive recipes. And, and trendy, it was kind of 
started trending. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, okay. So that's what happened, right? Okay. So that's how people started coming on board. But you can only go so far. I mean, at that right. point, you have to sort of continue to reinvent yourself. You know what right. I mean? So I don't want my tea to boil. I don't want my glaze to You get You want it to boil because oh, it's going to, yeah, because it's going to turn syrupy okay, and so sweet. Yeah. yeah, that's Malacerate. what you want. That's what you want. Okay. What, what's that word again? Molasserie. Molasserie. Uh -huh. Check it out on UrbanDictionary.com. Okay, we want it to become molasserie. Yeah, this is going to reduce down, okay. but it'll, it'll go from you know, uh, reduced to burnt in like seconds. So you so gotta just make keep sure. Stirring, keep yeah, watching. No, just watch it. You okay. know, just make sure we watch it. We don't want to get on the phone and yeah, call people. Totally. Got it. Just be what aware. What about my good thick pieces of? You're good. Salmon. So what we've done is we've crisped up the bottom mm -hmm, side of this mm -hmm. salmon. So this is good. See, mm -hmm. look. You see that? That's nice oh, and crispy. God. It's yes. moving around. Nothing's stuck in the good. pan. Good, good, good. So we're good. As soon as this comes thick, we're gonna take it, oh, glaze it, and then put it off in the oven. That's it. Awesome. Okay. So it's not cooked. It's not all the way cooked yet. You see? So we're good. Awesome. So basically, what you're saying is you were creating creative recipes, and that's what people were liking. And then from there, the following started to increase. Yeah. And yeah. then once you said, you know what, I got 40,000 followers. How can I get it to 50 to 100? You started to incorporate the comedy. And so when you did the comedy, did you see a big jump in following? All right, so kind of, right? It's okay. kind of hard to put it into like an exact formula, but the idea was to say, all right, I'm this creative dude. I have these amazing recipes. I'm going to use social media for my benefit, mm -hmm. right? So right. I use Twitter for what it's worth. I use Periscope for what it's worth. I use Facebook, Instagram. And so that takes you so far, but then you got to constantly re recreate the wheel, right? right? So in my mind, I'm saying, how can I incorporate something about food with comedy that people could just get it, yeah. right? And then so I literally was laying in bed one night. I don't know about you, mm -hmm. <laughs> but sometimes I pray about certain things. Oh, we can pray right now. You okay. Wanna... We can get started now. Go ahead. You sometimes I pray, about, I pray about certain things. Yeah. And so <laughs> I literally was like, God, Please make me skinny. Yes. yes. That's Lord. it. Hear yes. My prayer, Lord. Yes. Like you, you can do so many things like just yes. make me skinny. In Jesus name. And the thing is, so the thing is you have to put limit. Make me skinny by morning. Yes. By morning. Put a clock on Jesus. Yeah, make yeah. It by morning. And then I just went from there to I know you can do it. Yes. I know you can do I it. I know you can do it because I believe With you the can. Right? Voice. Yeah, I, I know, know you can, can do, do it, it. right? Yes. And so that took off. That just literally took off. Like, we wow. Loved it. No, we when loved I tell it. you, like, immediately, like, overnight viral, like, everything is yeah. out. People are loving the videos. And you got to keep that stuff up. That's yeah. true. That's true. Right? So yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Am I a comedian now? Right. Like, what's the yeah. deal? Right. So then I make another video. Um, and then another video, and they just they just all just start to go viral. And now people are discovering, you know, I know you can do it. But here's the key thing about everything that I, that I, that I did was that I don't think it would have worked had I not had all the recipes out. Got it. Because that stuff comes and goes. Got it. Right? Yeah. But people say, okay, I'm introduced to your platform. I know who you are. Um, but if, if I didn't have that content that says, hey, I can cook really, really well, and I'm an expert at this, then people would just walk away. Right. But people stuck around and stayed because they said, oh, my God, he really does have okay. something here. Yeah, there's so something here. So if you did the comedy first, you, they would have just classified you as a comedian. Yeah, they would have. So it's, it's it. important. So that's why I said it's hard to give you, like, an exact formula of how it worked. So I had right. to be, you know, pretty strategic in how I did it. So you're very, you have a strategic mind. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. None of this is by happenstance. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's all good. of this, all of this was a, a foresight of seeing what could possibly be and then working out a plan to make it happen. Because I think a lot of people that are watching, they probably look and think like, well, do I just make this up and go as it, as, as it comes to me? Or right. does it, do I get really strategic? Like I'm a strategic person, yeah. but I, sometimes I don't know if I'm connecting all the dots. Like I heard you got to collect the dots before you can connect the well, dots. Well, it's to, to a certain degree, right? Okay. But then places that you're, that you're weekend, you got to find somebody who knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So there's, right now, there's business coaches, there's mm -hmm. classes, there's, right. you know, social media, there's, there's all these things, these resources that are out here mm -hmm. that'll help you learn what you sort of need to do or what right. part you're missing. So, how so. Did, what did you do? Okay, so what areas were missing for you? 
you know what I mean? It was a lot missing for me. There was no business model on how to travel around the country doing dinner parties. Got it. Oh. Right? That's just not there. That's true. So I, I pretty much knew how to create content. I knew the, the, the keys to making content go viral, mm -hmm. right? But then merging uh, an online digital space with a physical product where you can now touch and feel me, that just hasn't right. been done before. Right. Nobody's done that. Yeah. So I researched, it hadn't been done, so I had to now create the business model and I hope it worked. Yeah. Okay? okay. And I gotta tell you, the first two or three dinners, it didn't work. Really? Okay. Oh no. Oh, well, wow. people who came say they had a great time. And I have repeat customers who've come over and over again and they'll tell you, yeah, the first one was amazing, but this third time, it's way better than the first time. So the people, you know, they see the improvements mm -hmm. that you make. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. I got yeah. another question though. Sure. Because it's, lots of times in pursuing purpose and destiny, dreams, yeah. there's an element of fear. Sure. Were there moments of fear, immobilizing fear, where you're afraid to do anything? Because unfortunately for me, that's what gets me. The fear comes. Yeah, okay, the well, fear. is there fear? Yes. I think, I think because we're human, that's a yeah. natural response. So yeah, there's gonna be fear, right? But when you think about fear in and, in and of itself and what it is, it's a self-imposed situation, mm -hmm. right? So we lock ourselves in a prison that we then have the key to unlock, but ah. for some reason we like to stay in there because we don't know what's about to happen, mm -hmm. right? And I think the lessons you learn from doing something afraid mm. are more valuable than, than anything you'll ever learn. Yeah. That's good. Just staying behind and never doing anything, That's right? Yeah. So yeah, is there fear? Absolutely. But I mean, do you want to be on the other side? Do you want to get to, you know, whatever the goal yeah. is? So you got to figure out a way to conquer the fear and make it happen. Yeah. Um, and I'm a Capricorn, so I yeah. take calculated <laughs> risks. Uh -huh. And when the numbers align themselves, let's make it happen. Yeah. 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 So, you did that, you started to blow up, you started doing things online, you made a cookbook, yeah. and that did very well. It's still doing it. It's still, <laughs> it's still, still doing it. Right? It's still doing it. Yeah. It's still doing it well. Okay, so yeah. the cookbook is doing great, and then you decided, you know, I'm gonna take from doing the events, the cookbook, to starting a restaurant. Yeah, so, um, so the cookbook was kind of first. Okay. So I was sort of in the works to already do a cookbook a couple years ago, yeah. right? That was in 2015. It just so happened I was able to quit my job the exact same year and start doing these dinner parties all over the country at the exact same time. So you were like a, con what do they call that? A com uh, combustible? What do they call that? Don't you don't know? know? No. We don't know. Okay. But I, but I, but I There's a word, okay? No, There's a word. But in the urban dictionary. Spontaneous itinerary. combustion. Something okay, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What I meant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah it, a lot happening at one time <laughs> right. and just sort of, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what yeah. it was. And, um, you know, the thing about it was I, did, I ran the numbers okay. like three times. Yeah. I was like, okay, if I do this, 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 and this, that'll get me how much? Right? And then when you start looking at how much money you could actually make, and nobody's stopping you from making that money, and you look at, okay, what am I making now currently at my job? And then you have to ask yourself, what do I need to survive? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because what I make at my job is a different number than what I need to survive. Yeah. Right? And I was mm -hmm. in corporate America, I was doing well, mm -hmm. so I didn't need all they were giving me. So I'm like, well, if I just make this, mm -hmm. then I could do it. And then you start seeing those numbers add up. But you had a nest egg, though. Come on. Yeah, but I didn't use any of that. Yeah, I, yeah, I had a good job. I had right. a good bonus plan. I right. had a good Come savings. On, yeah. yeah, but I had, I, I didn't touch any of that. Really? I was, in, yeah, I was in profit doing my pre-sales. Oh, so, okay. oh wow. Yeah, so basically it was, it was a ticketed event, right? And I put it online. People bought tickets. I got the money beforehand. We're good to go. Got it. Yeah. Got so it. it worked out. It just happened to work yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. And so way. then the restaurant. So you decided to open a restaurant in yeah, Atlanta. Yeah. Was, I mean, I'm sure that's a pretty overwhelming task to do. A little bit. Yeah. Well, what, okay, I'm sorry. What was, the, what was the motivation for doing the restaurant? Well, to be believe it or not, the name uh, of the restaurant, Greens and Gravy, wow. is um, a name that we came up with uh, probably four years ago. Okay. So this was like, again, everything is strategic, there right? Is. Everything That's is strategic. The for the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very strategic. Okay. So my buddy Brandon helped me come up with the name Greens and Gravy. And I bought the domain way back when, mm -hmm. and um, it just so happened that I got myself to a point where my brand online was able to sustain um, a restaurant, right? And so we just decided, decided to open up one, and it just, it worked out, right? But here's my question. Yeah. Why New York? From New York to Atlanta. I mean, New York is the it is. that yeah. capital of the world. Yeah, but I'll tell you why. Very simple. I'm, I'm from Chicago, 29 years, 
New York four years. I got tired of snow. I got tired oh, of cold. Got it. Yeah. So I had to go someplace got else. It. Yeah. And totally. Atlanta is, is a good place it for is. entrepreneurs. It yeah. Is. So that's so, why I came here. Yeah. How long has the restaurant been open? It's been open a little bit over three months now. Three months. Yeah, and three months. Baby. We're very much a baby. Yeah, very, very much a baby. The word on the street is that it's one of the top. Yeah, ten that's new the word. Restaurant. <laughs> yeah. So right now we are um, one of the top ten hottest restaurants in Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, and the top ten uh, hottest brunch in Atlanta oh, as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I hope I got a seat at the table. Somewhere. Whatever you're ready to come. You just, <laughs> Don't forget, I got it on record. You just call our general manager. And say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> got her. I see you, little girl. So okay. Um. So the restaurant's been open, and you're doing that, yeah. and. As I'm following you on social media, you're talking about like your Insta stories. You're like, hey, I can turn your credit around. Yeah. I'm like, dang, what it's else is cool. this yeah, dude has like a, this empire going? I Tell know. us about the, uh, the 701, the credit yeah. thing that you have. So here's what happens, right? So I am very connected to my community, right? Uh -huh. I have a bunch of folks who follow me, um, similar stories, similar downfall, similar issues, the whole bit, right? So we all come from a certain space. Um, I know what having good credit can do for you. Mm -hmm. I know what having your finances in order can do for you. Yeah. Essentially, I'm living the life that so many people want to live, right? Mm -hmm. And I realize that, right? right? So I said to myself, how can I help people realize they can do the exact same thing, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how much cash you have. If your credit's not good, you're not getting a good interest rate, you're not getting a That's mortgage, true. you're paying rent and not getting mm -hmm. equity in your home, you're losing money left and right. Owning a house is cash, is money in the bank, plain and simple. Right. So I wanted to help people, plus so many people have gone through divorce, yeah. right? They've mm -hmm. gone through you know, a sick child and medical bills. So there's yeah. all these stories and they need somebody to say, hey, you know, um, I, I wanna trust you to help me get to this space where life can be a, little, a bit better for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to come up with a program uh, after I cleaned up my own credit and saw how well I was able to do it, where I can help other folks do the exact same thing. Now, how did you clean up your credit? Like, did you just, like, did it take a year? Did it take six months? No, 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 like it didn't take a year. It took probably, um, for me to get to where I wanted to be, it probably took uh, about seven or eight months of okay. serious, like, going at it, doing what needs to happen, and raising my credit score naturally and doing some other little tricks in the trade to get me where I need to be. And I was able to buy, I bought my first house last year. I closed on my first house. Because we saw wow. that nice kitchen you be cooking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it's a nice, it's yeah. a nice piece of property. It is. Yeah, it's a nice house. But I mean, okay, so it sounds easy, like, voila, I just wanted my credit fixed and so I just fixed it, but I mean, come on. Like, it is, well, the thing, it is easy, right? Anything you will yourself, Napoleon Hill says, yes, anything, Napoleon. You, yeah, anything you will yourself to do can happen, right? So if you want it to be easy, it can be easy. It's yeah. a matter of what you believe inside your mind. So don't do that. So if I can lose weight, I'll just be like, I want to You lose really weight. can. So like Beyonce and Serena Williams. Mm. Is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, but don't, don't forget that, okay, so the willpower starts, but the problem is you're going to face challenges because it is difficult, okay. right? And the changes that you have to go through in life are hard to get accustomed to yes. but mm -hmm. if you have the willpower it's in your mind okay. and your mind will help you overcome any obstacles that are in your way yeah, so you you really can do it he says your only limitation is the one you accept yeah oh, that's where okay. i got yeah. that from okay. yeah yeah that's okay. exactly how it works so okay. yeah okay. totally okay. well real quick we want to check back in on our food and see okay. where we are so we're good so this has gotten a little bit more thick mm -hmm. this has to reduce down and get syrupy and that kind of thing. And as you can see, it's a little thicker than what it was. Oh, good. So you can let this continue to, to do its thing. Mm -hmm. The oven's at 400 mm -hmm. degrees. So the fish can go in. Okay. We can put it in now. Oh, without the glaze. Not because not we're going to let it cook a little bit first and just come back up to temperature and then we'll put the, the glaze, glaze on. Cook a little bit mm -hmm. more. Okay. We'll do both. So, so let me, let me have you need this. Yeah, yeah, you need that. Okay. All right. That's hot, so it's be real cooking. I need no, 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 you good. Let me do it for okay, you. Let me good. help I'm out. So glad you're here. <laughs> let me, let me, so nice to have a man around. Let me with help. You. Let me help. Yeah, That's it. Yeah, there you, there you go. So that goes in the oven. <laughs> All right. This is good. And then if you want, these should be done now, right? Okay. So mm. the way to test them is just to throw your fork in. And let's see. Yeah. See, it goes in and out real easy, like that. So these are good. Good. See? Oh yeah. So okay. you can drain those. Okay. Cool. All and right. Then, How long are we going to keep the fish in there, though? Until it's done. Okay. Is that hot? That's it probably is. hot. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your nights. So as she's draining, what's your favorite recipe to make? My favorite recipe? Yeah. It's probably the one that I don't have to cook. Um, okay. <laughs> to be honest with you, um, my favorite recipe, there's so many. 
It's like, what's your, who's your favorite kid? It's hard to tell you. The mac and cheese. You know, I mean, it depends. Some days I okay. want mac and cheese. Some days I want, you know, a pancetta carbonara. Some oh, days I want, that. you know, a stuffed pork chop. Some days you want uh, cornflake crusted chicken. Well, then let me ask you this. Then. Yeah. What does Thanksgiving look like for Darius Williams? That's what we want to know. Um, my God. It looks like a beach and my feet up some dang old way. Oh, you're not cooking? Yeah, well, no, I don't. I do all the work for everybody else. Like, okay. I do all the recipes. I let you guys do all the cooking. But, but like, if you had to say, write a menu of, well, yeah, this makes okay. a great well, Thanksgiving meal. I'll tell you what. So here's what I'm doing. I'm working on a new cookbook. It's an ebook. Check me now. Make sure that, it's you're good. good. You're good. Okay. And here's a, here's a trick. If there's any extra water, yeah. just put it back on the stove yeah. in the same pot. It'll evaporate. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm working on a new cookbook called 101 Recipes for Your Holiday Table. Oh, okay. So these are all brand new from um, appetizers and starters okay. to uh, lots of side dishes that are mm. brand new. Like I got a cream collard green dish with uh, crispy bacon and shallots on top. Jesus. I've got a white cheddar cream either. white cheddar cream corn with bacon. I have all these good things that are coming up, right? You're yeah. not trying to help a, a fit girl. Huh? Well, the thing is, <laughs> it's, it's the holiday. <laughs> wait till January, then okay. you'll be good I'll to wait, go. Okay. Yeah. Wait till January, okay? Um, so all these good things that are happening. I got um, lots of desserts and, and mm -hmm. cocktails and the whole bit. So, um, so if I... No, leave it in. Oh, leave the garlic. Yeah, leave it in. Yeah, it's gonna taste good. So for a holiday for me, that's kind of what it looks like. All mm. you know, new stuff, good stuff. Like right. you know, um, uh, cola and uh, branded ham shank. You know, it's just something new, something different. Ham shank. Yeah, lemon pepper fried chicken <laughs> What's with a, a ham shank. A ham yeah. shank. Is that a ham shank? That's it. That's a, That's that's definitely it. Okay. Um, for these, you're gonna just start mashing. Before you do anything else, that's so the key. So I got my good uh, garlic butter. But okay, cool. You just mash yeah. Okay. So that's what that's what the holidays. I mean, it's it's all new stuff, you know. So what's the menu look like? Like oh, you I know, don't, like if you like, do you do fried turkey normally, or do you do? I do everything. Ham? I do everything. I try to do different stuff, right? So mm -hmm. it will be chicken. It will be turkey, but it's gonna be prepared got some it. different way. And I might do like a pecan crusted side of salmon with dill and butter or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's like you not do the, the same. mac and cheese every holiday? I don't. I might switch it up and do, I have a, a new one I'm doing. It's a white cheddar okay. mac and cheese with um, lobster, right? So that might be a new one that we do. Wow. In or out? In. And mac. In, yeah. 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 It's cooked all the way down, so it's going to be nice and sweet. Yeah. So Darius, what's, what's next for you? What's... What's the future looking like? I mean, you got a lot going on. I do have a lot going like, on. Like, are you, uh, <laughs> what about the network? I mean. Which network? You said Black Food Networker. Yeah, so um, I'm, I was working on a project called Black Food Network, but what I realized with working on Black Food Network mm -hmm. was that it was a lot of um, helping other folks build their brands and I was sort of disrespecting myself a little bit by not mm -hmm. building my own brand. So right. I put it on hold for a moment okay. and Got putting it. it on hold helped me develop things like um, greens and gravy, mm -hmm. right? So right now I'm doing greens and gravy uh, Atlanta and then next year Chicago. we're opening up greens that. and gravy Chicago, that is right? So yeah. Exciting. yeah, so right now greens and gravy is really popping. Greens and gravy is really popping, and so um, I'm working on that, and I'm just gonna still keep writing cookbooks. I still have more yep. content to develop mm -hmm. and cookbooks to, to create. So that's what I'm doing now um, in, my, <laughs> in my spare time. <laughs> that's awesome. If there is any. Yeah, I know, right? So this is it. You just wanna glaze, glaze, glaze. So with the food, are we near completion, or what do we gotta oh, do next? <laughs> We're just, back yeah, put this back oh, in. Yeah, put it back yeah, yeah, we're not all the way through yet. We're almost there. Oh, okay. Almost. So, another three I'm or four. I'm starving. Three or four <laughs> minutes will be good. Okay. So, with this, do we have any cream? What do we have? Oh, we have half and half. We've got good. Uh, okay. English, good. English. English uh, oh, we've got. Butter. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So you've mashed the potatoes mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Now the key is to mash them good before you add any liquid. So do I need another one more mash? Uh-uh, you good. I like a little chunk in mine. Like yeah, chunk? I like a little chunk. Yeah. So where, where's the cream? Half it's and in the refrigerator, Calvin, if you can see this, please. Half and half. We need a little bit of that. Mm-hmm. We're just going to cream them up good. That's it. Oh, look at this. This is the organic. <laughs> this is the real deal. <laughs> this is the real deal. 
fashion now. All right, so we're going to put a little bit in first. When you say a little bit, because I often see you say just a little bit, and it's like half the bottle. Well, a little yeah, bit. We're how gonna, do you do that? With yeah. Well, I'm just, we got a lot of potatoes, <laughs> sweet <laughs> enough, okay? And we're going to stir, just because we're looking for a certain consistency. You okay. want them nice and creamy, So right? let me feel, because okay. you know. Okay, well, I'm not there yet, because okay. we're going to need some more. So okay. I'm just put a little bit in first to see where we are. Okay. All right. You know how mashed potatoes should look. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, so we'll put a little bit more. That's already looking good. Yeah, and it's just cream and potatoes. That's it. Or half and half. See? There we go. So so a little soupy, but not Yeah, soupy a little doopy. bit. Yeah, no, because the heat, remember, it's still on the heat. So Got it's it. gonna reduce and you know and be nice and fluffy. Okay, okay so then we're gonna season it. Okay. Um, I like to put a little garlic okay. in mine, granulated garlic, and then we're gonna put some salt and pepper. See, that's not a little bit. That's, yeah. Do you, want, do you want to taste it or I no? I do, but so I just need to know if that's a little bit or we're going to yeah, do a medium bit. That's like a, that's like a teaspoon. <laughs> no, sir. How many? No, that is a teaspoon. How many he potatoes? Knows what he doing. How many potatoes are in here? Five. Okay, you need yeah. to be able to taste it. Listen, I want it. A little pinch yeah. is not going to do it okay, right okay. here. You want to yeah. taste what's going on. Okay, okay now the salt, yeah. you want to be careful with, mm -hmm. but potatoes mm -hmm. need salt, okay? okay. So I'm going to put a good... <laughs> bit of salt in okay. here, okay, <laughs> on the potatoes. And then do we have any pepper in there? Uh-huh, we're going to find some. Okay, we're going to put a little we'll bit, of, a little bit. Oh, this pepper in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're going to finish off with some butter mm -hmm. because I've never met a potato. Mm -hmm. that didn't that have butter. And this is fancy butter. Oh, this, God. this has green stuff on it. Garlic. Okay. And herbs. Okay. So we're gonna put a little butter <laughs> in there. Just a little bit. You don't wanna put too much. Uh -huh. Okay, and then you just give this a stir. So when you say eight tablespoons, that's about half a stick. -ish. No, six tablespoons oh, is six. eight. Yeah, okay. so and okay. I just put I just put half of that. So, Got it. so that's four. Because okay. a whole stick of butter is eight tablespoons eight. all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See how that's nice that and thick? Is that's what I'm looking good. for, yeah. yeah. Now, Jesus do we have a do we have I need like a tasting spoon to see because yeah, I want to I want to taste it first we'll before do you the rinse off first. Okay, before you taste it, I want to taste it to make sure that's what it needs to if it's the salt is right and all that stuff. Cuz see here cuz this is going to be the test. What's the test? Cuz I'll be seeing you on mm. See? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. That was the test. I'm gonna put a little bit more cream. <laughs> And I'm sorry, it needs a little bit more salt. Okay. Yeah. It needs a little bit more salt. Hey. It needs a little bit Look more it salt. Up. This Look is, it up. these are potatoes, okay? <laughs> Won't he do it? These Every are potatoes. Time. <laughs> now, how does that look? That looks very good. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to yeah, tell you. Yeah, Darius. Let me just, hold on, let me just rinse my spoon. Okay, okay. And you see how we're looking like kids? Yeah. Let me just rinse my, let me make sure, because before they taste it, I want to make sure there's enough salt, enough seasoning. Uh -huh. There you go. And see, Darius, when I see you do that, there now you go. I have the opportunity go. <laughs> to really see if this stuff tastes. There you go. One more That's time, we're going to do one more glaze okay. of the uh -huh. salmon. And then the, we'll let it cook for a few more seconds and then we'll be done. Look at that. Lord. So this is what we're talking about. Okay. Boy, listen. See, a little bit more of that. Mm. And let it get some color on it. And then we'll be good to go. See? Simple. Now, this wasn't hard at all. It wasn't. No, that actually, isn't. To be very honest. And it looks good. We're going to put it in the oven for a little bit more. Just, right? just, yeah, just to get a little bit more color, and then we're good to go. But if you like the salmon, you know, like I a don't. medium. I okay. Don't all right. Dark. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. We like dark skinned salmon. That's huh? right. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so we got the salmon in, we got the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna taste these mashed potatoes. Oh, um, should I wait? You should wait. wait. Probably wait till wait. you can put it all together I'll wait. I'll and make wait. sure. And let me make sure the glaze, see, we're not using the spoon no more. So you wanna make sure the glaze is really, look at that, it's nice and. Look. Is that good? Come it? on. <laughs> wait a minute, let me taste it. Let me taste it. Run, run a finger through that. Oh, Lord. Run a oh. finger through that. I'll do the crunch and do the back cap. I'm gonna mess this off. Just mm -hmm. so you know what I'm saying. Run a finger through that. Darius, don't do this. No, but I'm, I'm telling you. Run your finger through that. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Tommy, I'm going to do the front, you do the back. Okay. Okay. So okay. That's what I'm trying to tell you, that's okay? Yeah, <laughs> don't. <laughs> don't fool with Wait, Jerry. That's what I'm telling you. I'm trying to, t I know. Can't. It tastes like candy. It tastes like a Jolly Rancher. It's, and, it's, and it's great on the fish. That's how it's supposed to go. 
Y'all, we're not just, we're not really making this up. You like, did I'm that. Serious. You like, made that this. That tastes amazing. You, because I would have told Darius it was just taste good. <laughs> <laughs> we be the yeah. first one. You made that. Yeah. Yeah, very simple. Let me find out about the catch with this honey glaze. Okay. And we just need, <laughs> so we probably need like two more minutes on the fish and yeah. then we'll be done. So. We got everything in the oven. It, the salmon's about done. The yeah. mashed potatoes are about done. We're just letting it get a little brown. First of all, we just want to thank you yes. for coming on our You're show. Welcome. You're welcome. You are amazing. We really, really appreciate thank it. You. you know, thank you. a lot of times people that have big followings, yeah. it's hard to connect with yeah. people yeah. that are you know, who we think are up there. Right. But you're very humble and we really appreciate thank it. You. Thank Last you. question for you. Sure. What's one area in your life that you feel like you need to show up on? in the future? Um, for me, it's just a commitment to like always be excellent, right? I think what happens is that sometimes when you have to constantly create content, you can become lazy. Mm -hmm. When you have to constantly think of new ideas, it's like, oh, here we go again. Yeah. So it's just a matter of whether it's video content, whether it's a photo content, whether it's a cookbook, whether it's a mm -hmm. new program, whatever it is, like sort of always saying, I'm going to create this, show up and be excellent. So create it in excellence or just don't do it at all. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. There you have it. Thanks again for tuning in. Darius Williams, thank you. Thank you for my co-host, Ms. Joy Tribble. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.